Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing U.S. immigration options for girlfriends and boyfriends of United States citizens. And what are we talking about here? We're talking about it specifically in the context of Thailand. So we're dealing with the U.S. Embassy here. We're dealing with visa process out of here. Some of this analysis may be useful for folks in another context, perhaps in another jurisdiction, but we primarily deal with Thailand-based cases out of our office here, and so that's what I'm going to speak on. Many people who have a loved one, a girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, they, they start looking at immigration options. And as we've discussed in many other videos, due to what's called Section 214B of the Immigration Nationality Act, tourist visas to the United States are not always available. In fact, in a large number of cases, you're going to see a tourist visa denied based on Section 214B regard because the consular officers have that discretion to issue those denials, and they often do so because oftentimes they think that by issuing a visa, that person may go to the United States effectively to live there. And as we've discussed in other videos, yes, it's not uncommon to see U.S. tourist visas denied. So if that's the case, what options are, is one looking at with regard to bringing a loved one to the U.S.? As we've discussed in other videos, there are fiancé visas available. There are also marriage visas available. Now, that said, when making or forming, if you will, formulating a strategy to take someone back to the United States, you need to take into account all the aspects of those different visas. And we've discussed certain things associated with things like adjustment of status in the context of the K-1. We've also discussed how the process for getting a U.S. marriage visa, in my opinion, is more cumbersome than dealing with the K-1 process. But that said, you front-loaded a lot of things, and therefore it doesn't require adjustment of status in the United States. The point I'm trying to make with this video is those who are looking to bring a loved one back to the United States, it's a very good idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance with regard to all of your options up front before making any decisions regarding anything associated with your legal status. This includes marriage. So again, it's a good idea to talk to a legal professional before doing anything with regard to traveling to the United States as you need to know your options and you also need to know what the road ahead looks like, the timelines, and the possible problems and complications that may arise as a result of engaging in the U.S. immigration process.